going on YouTube, Sid, Sid's autograph site here with my pick and haul uh, for this past week. Uh, the stuff here was gotten on Tuesday, and then uh, everything in the box there was gotten on Saturday. So we'll go ahead and jump right into this, hopefully make it a quick video. Um, went to one thrift store on Tuesday and got all three of these items. Um, this book here is really cool. This is an uncorrected advanced proof of Rick Riordan's The Sea of Monsters, part of the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series. Um, there's the information there. Obviously, first edition, 2006. Um, love advanced reader copies and uncorrected proofs. In my opinion, they should be worth more than first editions. Um, because they came out be actually before the first edition of the book. Um, in my opinion, I think they're rarer, but um, whatever, it's neither here nor there. Um, and actually, let me show you something here. There we There's the uncorrected proof, and here's the actual copy of the book and how it looks. You can see the difference. Um, this is my son's. He's read all of them. So pretty cool. I got this on eBay right now for $20. Buy it now. I've got a couple watchers, so we'll see what happens. Um, paid 50 cents for that. So nice find. Next up, Carving Western Figures. This is by Harold Enlow, very famous wood carver. I've um, written a number of books. This is from 1984. Um, it's got a lot of patterns and that you can follow. A lot of great photographs. I um, looked this up on eBay before I, I bought it. and There's only a few copies that have sold. There's no, I don't think there's any on eBay right now except mine. So It's, it's not a really um, prevalent book. They're, they're hard to find. So I got mine up on eBay right now. I think 10 bucks or 15 bucks by now. Paid 50 cents for that. So, very cool. And then we have Pac Man, the game. Uh, paid $2.50. Uh, can you hear the noise? That is marbles. Um, use marbles for this game. Here, first date, yep, 1982, Milton Bradley. It is complete. I made sure to check that out before I bought it. Because um, I was pissed off the last time that I bought a mousetrap game from the same thrift store and it wasn't complete. Um, but it is complete. There's all the marbles. Um, there's the ghosts. Got two of those. Dice. Pac Man pieces there. Very cool. Uh, it'll go in my vintage board game collection. Yes, I do collect vintage board games among thousands of other things I collect. So, nice haul there for two years. On uh, Saturday, this stuff here was gotten at one thrift store. This is pretty cool. This is from Birchwood Casey Gun Care Products. This is a complete Perma Blue Gun Blue kit for touch up and full rebluing. Um, it's in pretty good condition. It's from 1971, I believe. I paid three bucks. Uh, still in the box and everything. I haven't fully checked everything out. Um, you see there, copyright 1971. I haven't checked out everything to make sure that it, it is totally unused, but it, it seems to be, and you can still hear all the liquid in there, I, I think it's, I don't think it was ever used, but I will definitely check and make absolutely sure before I list it on eBay as such. Um, there's the instructions there. Um, Gun blowing kits sell pretty well on eBay, so I went ahead and took a chance on this and bought it for three dollars. Uh, they normally sell for fifteen or twenty or so, maybe more. Um, especially one that's from 1971. There's none that that are this old on eBay right now. Um, it's all current kits. 
So we'll see what happens with that. It's to be continued. Um, this is really cool. Really stoked to find this. The great Bob Ross. Uh, this is The Joy of Painting, Volume 11. Uh, from the popular PBS TV series. I um, loved watching Bob Ross as a kid. I'd love to have his autograph one day. One day I'll get it. Um, paid a dollar for this. Some examples of his art there. Um, a great book on how to paint different, uh, different scenes. Very, very cool. Really happy to have this in the collection. Awesome. It was a day for art books, too, you'll see. I've got this one here for 30 cents. This is a Walter Foster book. Uh, this is Leon Frank's Paints Fruits and Vegetables. Um, it's a fairly old edition. Find the date on here. Probably not. I think it's from the 60s or 70s. But some great, great art in here. And that is just awesome. It's just a nice book. 30 cents, you can't go wrong on that for sure. And like I said, probably the 60s or 70s when it came out. Awesome. That was all one thrift store. Um, next, I went to the Salvation Army store. Only got one book um, by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carl. This is Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Um, books illustrated by Eric Carl. Um, not worth a little bit of money. So this is the second Eric Carl book I got. Um, so I'll probably put this with the other one and put a lot of two books up on eBay and see what happens. That's the tenth edition, so it's been out there a while. But this book normally sells for about four or five bucks by itself. So when I package it with the other book, it should sell pretty good. Let's see some bare butt there. So I paid a quarter for that. So it should do well. Um, next, went to a comic book store, the one in my area. Picked up some quarter books. Uh, first up, we got Peter Pan from Walt Disney. It's a gold key comic. Pretty decent shape. Uh, I'm trying to find a date. There it is, right in front of my face. 1952. So, not bad condition, like I said. Happy to have that in the collection. This one's cool. This is Unexpected, number 216. Uh, I believe that's a Joe Kubert cover. Uh, Face the Samurai Nightmare. This is really cool. Because uh, you actually have this Kung Fu guy fighting vampires. So, I mean, how cool can you get? That's why I picked up this book. It would be awesome to see uh, Kung Fu guys going up against vampires. Center page is about to come out totally. Um, definitely not in the best shape. But still a cool reader copy. This one's cool. I used to have this from Marvel Comics, Adventures of the Planet of the Apes. Um, first issue. It's really bad shape. It's all taped up and tore up. But I was looking at it, and it doesn't say who did the art or who wrote it or anything. There's no uh, credits at all in there, unless I'm missing a page, which is highly possible, considering the condition. Um, but again, does not say who did it. Uh, I don't remember who did it. But it's still cool. Then I got this. Uh, Super DC Giant presents the best, the brave, and the bold. It's got a corner chunk tore out, but got Batman, Flash, and Metamorpho in this issue. Um, really cool. Um, 
This would be fun to read. It's 1970. And I got uh, issue of Boris Karloff, Tales of Mystery from Gold Key. Uh, this is issue, uh, issue 48 from 1973. The year I was born. Great painted cover. Very, very cool. I was never a big fan of the stories in these, per se, but I love the covers on them. So. Definitely should be enjoyable to read, either way. Iron Fist, number six. Except for that corner there, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, looks to be like a really good issue. Some really good art, actually. Um, it's got a nice center, center spread there. 1976. John Byrne did the art. It's very cool. Uh, issue of Marvel Collector's Item Classics. This is issue 21. It's missing the bottom part of the cover here. Uh, it's copyright 1969. It's all stapled up along the side there. And again, nice reader copy. It's got the back cover. It's good, fantastic four stories in here. Uh, then this was cool. Saw this. Had to get this. This is a uh, prelude to Blackest Night, Solomon Grundy. Great, great cover. Love that cover. Buried on Sunday. Big Solomon Grundy fan. Uh, Scott Collins apparently did the story art and cover, which is awesome. Like this guy's art. I haven't kept up with the current stuff, so I'm not. Don't really know who he is, but I'm liking his work. So should be a fun read. Got that. Got the uh, issue of Six Million Dollar Man from Charlton. This is number six. 1978. Very cool. Loved that show as a kid. Don't know why they haven't released it on DVD after all this time, but whatever. All right, so Mariner and the Hulk Tales to Astonish, number 76. Again, missing the bottom part of the front cover. Um, I don't see a copyright date nowheres. A nice Hulk story in here and a good Submariner story. So I don't know if I'm again missing a page or or what, but I guess it was on the cover over here. So, definitely a 60s book, though. Um, Fantastic Four, number 74, all messed up. Messed up real bad. Um, let's see, 1968, Jack Kirby art, Fantastic Four. So, for the most part, complete, though. This looks like the story's not too, too affected. So, still cool. I picked this up. This is Speedy Rabbit. Yep, Speedy Rabbit, published by IW Enterprises, which I've never heard of. Um, it's number one issue, ten cents. The date's missing out of the cover here, so I can't tell you what the date is. But I've never heard of IW, so I had to get it just because of that. Interesting stories. It's called Speedy Rabbit, but the rabbit's Peter Cottontail, so I'm not sure what's up with that. That's from the comic store. Uh, I'm going to show you these real quick. These, these two books I got at Antique Hall. Um, first one here, 
spend too much time on this. This is a Masonic book. This is Ritual of the Order of the White Shrine of Jerusalem. Uh, it's a 1953 revised and copyrighted edition. As I said before, Masonic books normally sell pretty good. That's why I got that. I paid a whopping two bucks for that. Should do pretty good with that. And this next book is really cool. Um, this is Vagabond's House. And this is by Hawaii's poet, poet laureate, Don Blanding. And as you can see, it's a signed copy. Uh, signed Aloha, Don Blanding. Uh, Don was actually born here in Oklahoma and moved to Hawaii. Uh, many books on poetry of his have been published. He died in 1957. Um, this book is his most famous book. Been published numerous, numerous times. Um, got some great drawings in here. This is the 11th printing actually itself. Um, illustrated by Don Blanding. Very cool signed copy. Paid five bucks for it, but that's not all, guys. This is actually what's known as an association copy because it's also signed over here by Edna Worthley Underwood, dated April 1933, uh, and it is also signed on the inside back cover. And I always research names that are written in books. Um, just to see if they might have been somebody too. And when I looked her up, I found out that, yes, indeed, she was somebody. Uh, Edna Underwood was herself a prolific poet and author. Um, lived a part of her life in Wichita, Kansas, uh, but she was born in Maine and spent most of her time in Maine. Um, she entered a sanitarium, actually, in 1953 due to dementia, and that's where she died in 1961. Um, and this is really cool. It's an association copy. She owned the book, uh, wrote her name in it twice, had uh, Don Blanding sign it, or maybe she bought it from somebody else and it was already signed. I don't know. But uh, this is my first official association copy that I found. Um, and I think I recall looking through other books there at that antique mall, finding some more books that she owned that she had put her name in. So I might go back and get those. I haven't made up my mind yet, but very cool for five bucks. Um, two famous authors and poets. Very, very happy to find this. Super happy. So, nice copy there, Vagabond's House. And last but not least, uh, if you guys have listened to me on Autograph Weekly, uh, which I'm going to leave the link down below. All my picking buddies, you need to go check that out. Uh, Redneck Picker, Terminal 99, Urban Diggers, Ninja Picker. Um, you guys all need to check that out. Uh, I talk about picking and give picking tips. Um, plus, everybody else has not listened to Autograph Weekly and digs autographs and collectibles, check it out. Please, I'm going to leave the link down below. Uh, but this is the bag of books I got at the library book sale for $2.00. Um, it's still a bag of books for two dollars right now. Um, pick this up, Superheroes. It's an Amelia Rules book, uh, written and illustrated by. Can't make out the author's name because it's missing. Jimmy Gownley. There we go. Jimmy Gownley. A nice graphic novel here. Appears to be complete. So that's cool. I'll give that to my daughters to read. It's very nice. I'm going to try and go through these pretty quickly. Uh, Micronauts, special book club edition uh, with drawings by Boris Vallejo. If I can find you one here to look at. There's one there. Really nice. I remember having this book as a kid. Okay. Illustrated by Boris Vallejo. 1977. I don't know if this is what they based the comic book off of or not. I can't remember. Uh, pretty cool. 
for sale or trade if anybody's interested. Uh, pick this up, the American Patriots Handbook, compliments of the family fraternity, Woodmen of the World. Fraternal organization stuff normally sells pretty well on eBay. So this is my second copy of this I picked up. The other one had writing all over it. This one's pretty nice shape. Um, what's really cool about the hall is I picked up a bunch of books. Well, first up, I picked a bunch of books up. Jim Aronofsky. Uh, this is Sketching Outdoors in Autumn. Picked up four books total by him. Just really nice stuff. Really great artist. So I picked up Sketching Outdoors in Autumn, Sketching Outdoors in Spring, Sketching Outdoors in Summer, and Sketching Outdoors in Winter. So the whole, all four seasons are covered. Got all four. The whole set. So awesome. Like I said, it was an art book kind of day, Saturday. Got this book here, Fantanimals. The Children's Press. Uh, this is written and illustrated by Keith Havens. Uh, I can't make out the date because it's in Roman numerals and I'm stupid. But this book's kind of cool. It's got different weird animals that this guy has come up with. So it's kind of fun. Some of them are in color, I guess. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Let me pull all this stuff out here. But the coolest part of the haul are these books by artist Lee J. Ames. I picked up a whole stack of books. I used to love these as a kid, going to the library. I remember checking out all of his books. Um, some are newer, like this one. This is Draw 50 Sharks, Whales, and Other Sea Creatures. Uh, it's in terrible shape because the library has decided to cut them up. I hate it when they do that for their book sales. But each page is a, is a drawing, basically nothing to the finished product. So that's Sea Creatures. Um, this is Draw 50 People. Again, this is a recent copy. Pirates, military men, knights in shining armor, Egyptians. Just great stuff. Love Lee J. Ames' work. Um, got Draw 50 Vehicles. This is a nice oldie here. Draw 50 Beasties, Uglies, and Turnover Uglies, and Things That Go Bump in the Night. Uh, this is a 5th edition, 1988. Great stuff. I remember drawing a lot of these drawings. Awesome copy there. Draw 50 Aliens. Uh, draw 50 Athletes. This is a nice older edition again. Again, 5th edition, 1985. It's great, great stuff. Draw 50 people of the Bible. And draw 50 dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals. I think this is probably the oldest book I have. Yep, 5th edition from 1977. I definitely remember this copy. I remember checking this book out when I was a kid. So just awesome. Nice big stack of books from him. Um, also got another Ben Hunt book on Indian craft. Um, written and illustrated by William Ben Hunt. Just great stuff. I got a ton of this guy's books. I used to have a lot more as a kid. Picked that up. Uh, this book is cool, Creatures of Paradise, Brian Holm. Just a bunch of different artwork about animals, birds, cats, dogs, horses. 
pretty cool. Uh, Bonzini, the Tattooed Man. It's a children's book. Picked it up because it's concerning the Tattooed Man. So, collects anything to do with tattoo memorabilia. Very cool book. Uh, working with cardboard and paper. Nice craft book. Stuff you have laying around the house. Toilet paper tubes and whatnot. You can build things. So I'll be doing some projects with Ayla. Almost done, guys. Like two or three more books. Uh, Star Wars Incredible Cross Sections. Again, it has a chunk taken out of the cover, which really freaking sucks. Uh, but just great stuff. This is a Slave One. Snow Speeder. Um, just beautiful stuff. At at. I think some of these fold out. Star Destroyer and TIE Fighter. It's definitely not in great shape. The pages are about to fall out. Look at that. But still, just to have in the collection and look at, I mean, you can't beat it. I mean, each book broke down to about 10 cents. I did take a couple out already that were for my kids uh, that weren't of interest to you guys. So, I mean, it was like 5 or 10 cents a book. You can't beat that. Um, got this one for my DKI Witness Books collection. This is NASCAR. Love these eyewitness books. Got that one. And last but not least, we have Anno's Journey by Mitsumasa Anno. Very famous writer and illustrator. Um, he wrote and illustrated this book. Actually, there's no writing in it. So he illustrated this book. It's just awesome. Really nice art. Um, very famous author. Not sure if I'm going to hang on to this or put it up on eBay. We'll see. So that's it. That's my haul, guys. Sorry the video was so long. I uh, appreciate anybody watching that. Watched it. Go check it out. Autograph Weekly. Um, Really great podcast, guys, all about autographs, but I talk about picking, so you're going to want to listen. And that's it for me, guys. Later.